Just another night of all in our world? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, that was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, crowd support was amazing, awesome. Just so thankful for all the fans and obviously a great win for us. Um, super proud of the guys. We showed a lot of toughness, a lot of fight, especially towards the end. We just never gave up. So. Well, what's this like to kind of maybe look back a year ago, like today, where you guys were, and then to have this kind of moment in front of a crowd to beat a ranked team? As somebody went through that last year, what does this feel like? I mean, it feels. I mean, it's it's a feeling that's hard to beat. Honestly, I mean, we went through a lot last year, and um, you know, a lot of that sticks on your mind. And when you have moments like this, it's just, you know, so rewarding. And like I said, I'm just super proud of everyone. And, um, yeah. Darren, you hit that three uh, towards the end of the game. You didn't make one the entire game. Um, take me through that play. Yeah. Um Man, my, I'm not gonna lie, confidence went down a little bit, but all my teammates were just telling me to keep my head up and it's gonna come back to me eventually. So just be ready to make the play. When you saw those fans storm the court, I, mean, I imagine that's gotta be something you dream about, you know, playing college basketball and, and celebrating with, with the students like that. Oh yeah, definitely. That was, I'm still, my heart's still beating from it. I'm so excited about that. I hope it comes out more when we play San Diego State next week. Darian, coach said he just has to write down eight and when it gets to that crunch time and he doesn't have to do much coaching. What is it about you guys that you just lock in towards the home stretch? Uh, we just got fighting us for some dogs, man. We just, we don't like losing, so we just come out. Whatever the score is, we just come play aggressive and get the win. It will for you. It seemed like you were just going from the jump. Uh, what got into you tonight where it seemed like you're the most physical you've been here? Um, really, it's just my teammates um, encouraging me and uh, just getting myself in that mindset before the game, getting myself prepared, and then just going straight to it once, once the, once, you know, after the tip off. So, Darren, what do you think? Is, do you think it's the best game Will's played from your uh, mind's eye? Yeah, man. I mean, he's had he's had a lot of big games, man, and he takes us. We're gonna go probably as far as he goes, man. He leads us out in the middle. He can knock it down. He can do a lot of different things. He's just a matchup nightmare. So, it's my guy. Appreciate you. Derek, talk about the, uh, the Will Baker hook shot. Like that left-handed hook shot is pretty dirty. Yeah, it's, yeah. When I first got here, I was like, whoa. And he, he didn't miss it at all, like, the first week of that. And I was just like, how is he hitting this consistently? And I tried to do it, and I would just miss the rim completely. So it's just, I don't know how he does it. Will, how do you do it? Uh, I've worked on it a lot. Like, I've, I've worked on it um, since, you know, I don't want to say a little kid, but, you know, I've I've been working on it for for a few years, so um, I'm glad that you know um, it's it's part of my skill set. So um, yeah. Did you draw any inspiration from somebody growing up, like watching somebody play when you were a kid, and like I want to I want to do that? I mean, obviously there's Kareem. Like you look at videos of him, but I wouldn't say anyone specific necessarily. Um, it always just felt really natural for me, um, and you know, just use it to my advantage. Um, Darian, uh, coach said that this New Mexico team had like a, a type of swagger about them. Um, to kind of show that you guys can go beat a team like that, what does that do to bring up your own kind of swagger and confidence? It just proves we can play with anybody in the country. Like when we were in the Caymans, we had a close game with K-State and they're ranked like five or six in the country right now. So we know we can play with anybody if we just play our game and don't get pushed out the way. Coach was really complimentary of Daniels at first tonight and just the injuries he's had to battle through and some of the plays he made tonight. What can you just say about what he brings off the bench? Yeah, man, he's a warrior, man. And he always, even when he got hurt, he was always positive in the locker room, positive with all of us, talking to us, helping me out specifically. That's my roommate, so we talk a lot at the house. So, yeah, man, he's just a big uh, bro model for me. Yeah, well, what can you say about him? Because that last play where he yeah. draws that flagrant foul, you could argue that was the game right there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm really proud of him. Um, he faced a lot of adversity this year, and he kept his head up and just took it day by day and, um, you know, got his work in. And there's moments like that where you see it um, kind of come through. So really proud of him. Derek, you know it's going to be a tough test going, but is there something extra as a player when you, you see a 25 next to a team and a, a ranking? Is there anything to that at all to give you a little extra oomph? Uh. Yeah, but it's just another opportunity. We take it day by day, no matter who we play. We just try to go out and win. Overtime, double overtime. Um, what was what were you all saying to each other to keep the game alive, and to keep pushing through, just you know, being tired of the team? 
what was kind of what was the talks going on? Just that we've been here before, you know, we can do it. That was really um, what we were saying to each other, encouraging each other in that way. Um, so, uh, I was going to say something else. Sorry. <laughs> My mind's, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of recovering. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. What's it like having the students back? And, you know, the coach was complimentary of how you guys were able to handle the break. Now comes potentially distractions. Just what's the energy around campus and what do you hope for the next couple months, I guess? Man, it's just a different different type of energy when the fans were there or when the students came back. And we knew it was going to be a big game tonight and they were going to show out, so we appreciate that. Will, you guys, I mean, how close do you feel like you guys are to your limit or your ceiling here? Um, I still think we, we can play even better, honestly. Um, like there were moments in that game when we weren't playing at our best. I think what separated us was just um, our fight and our – just willingness to pick each other up, keep on going at it. And, um, you know, I think if we can continue to do that and stay true to who we are defensively and offensively, we're, you know, the sky's the limit for us. So. Any more questions from you guys? Thank you. Thank you, guys.